I went over to Crystal Bridges and I sat outside by the fisheye and this bird kept talking to me basically from this tree that's behind me and I thought huh okay and I kind of ignored it for a minute and then I was like boom all of a sudden a light bulb went off in my head and I said thank you <laughs> How about a giant talking bird? I quickly did a sketch of a mockingbird and I, you know, took notes and I was like, this is it. You know, I got really excited about it. In all of my art, I've always incorporated an upcycled, a recycled element. But I think it's cool to somehow show other people that just because a product or object is made for a specific purpose doesn't mean it can't be used for another purpose. But I really wanted to make the, the belly of the bird stand out. I was reading an article about Burning Man. It was telling uh, the story of a group of people who had bought part of a 747 and turned it into a, a dance club, basically. And so they had photos of it, and there was an airplane wing with a dance floor on it, and I thought, that's it. It makes sense. Use airplane parts on the bird. And it's, it's the coolest thing, I think, it, that could be incorporated at this point. I found a wonderful company north of Denver um, who had been collecting um, vintage airplanes parts, specifically from various wars. They had these wonderful wings from Civil Air Patrol planes that were used in Vietnam. And I said, okay, that one right there is perfect. I'll take that one. It was a 16 foot by four foot wing, and that will become the bird's belly. At Tinkerfest a few months ago, um, I brought about a thousand of these small feathers that are gonna be used on top of the bird. And we had the kids and adults help us blue those. It's called cold bluing. You use a, a mixture of three different acids. And whenever you hit the metal with it, it turns it a really cool iridescent color. It almost looks like metal tie-dye. So when I was trying to come up with a good idea to house the microphone to pick up the, um, the voices of the visitors, I was, is it a branch, is it a, a piece of grass, you know, a giant piece of grass, or is it like a, how about some worms? Birds like to eat worms. Uh, so I made a couple of worms, um, and they are friends, not fodder, to the bird. The worm will pick up the voices, and those voices will be relayed to the bird, and the bird will then in turn mock back what they say. Another thing that's going to glow on the bird are the eyes. And I hired a good friend of mine who is a glass worker in Washington State to make a couple of stained glass eyes with a really cool golden yellow for the center. The community definitely had a big hand in helping make this work.